Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a review on the brand new e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. So if you want to know my thoughts, application, all that good stuff, then definitely keep on watching. Let's just get right into this review. All right, so I went ahead and applied my primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I did about two pumps, and I'm just going to let that sit into my skin, let it prep my skin, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the information while we're waiting. So this powder foundation comes in a really cute little compact, you know, just a plastic compact, has the shade name on the back. You open it up, it has a really nice little mirror here, and it does have, does have an imprint that says Elf Camel, but mine's pretty worn out. And I have the shade Fair 120N. And then you lift this part up and you have a makeup sponge if you would like to apply the product with that. I like that there is a separate compartment so that it's not constantly in contact with the powder and sometimes natural oils that go from your skin to your powder puff or sponge and then it lays on top of the powder. Sometimes it can create hard pants. So I like that there's a separate compartment for that. So this powder foundation retails for $11. It comes in a total of 30 shades, which is, you know, pretty good. As of right now, I'm filming this video February 1st. So as of now, they still have not released this product. <laughs> it's on their website, but it just says sold out. Like every shade is sold out. What they ended up doing is a couple weeks back, they actually launched 12 shades only on the Ulta website and it sold out immediately. So I put in my email and as soon as the shade um, that I need <laughs> or I wanted to purchase came back in stock, I purchased it through the Ulta website. I don't know, the way they did things was a little bit odd. I mean, if you're going to launch something, at least launch all 30 shades so everyone can get what they need. I feel like it's gonna be really frustrating for a lot of people. Some people will be able to try this before others, and I just really don't think that's quite fair. So I don't know what's going on with that, but who knows, by the time you're watching this, if this product is available, I will have all the links down below to their website, to Ulta and everything, if you guys wanna check this out for yourself. So this claims, let's read the claims really quickly. It says primer infused long wear formula, buildable formula offers medium to full coverage and semi matte finish. Creates an airbrushed, even complexion, talc-free and non commonogenic uh, I already said 30 shades. Pairs well with the rest of the camo collection. This also says it's non-cakey and stays put from first application to last call. It also claims to have a blurring effect and it evens out your complexion and keeps the shine at bay. And it also claims to be crease resistant creates a flawless finish, natural finish on all skin types and tones. So that's a lot of claims. <laughs> now I have already tested this out, so this is not a first impression, this is a review. I will say right off the bat, the color is way too light for me and you'll probably see as I go to apply it, this is very light and it's strange because I picked the exact same shade that I am in the Camo CC cream and I have already done a review on this and I can link this below. All right, so right here I have the Fair 120N Powder Foundation from e.l.f. And then here we have the CC Cream in Fair 120N. So you can see where I'm coming from. This is not the same as the CC Cream. So I am concerned that a lot of people may struggle finding their shade in the powder foundation. If you're wanting to try, you know, the same shade in the uh, CC Cream. So I would say just be very careful um, in selecting your shade. Um, this one leans a little dark on me now that it's, you know, winter months, but this is a great match. I actually really like the color match with the uh, CC Camo. I hope that was helpful seeing those swatched side by side because I was actually really shocked at how, how light this really did look in person versus on their website. Okay, let's get into application. So this does come with a flat 
sponge and personally for me because my skin leans more dry I don't like using applicators like this I do prefer to use a brush and I will link these down below in the description box you guys so make sure to check out I have tons of products linked down below to make things easier for you so I love these little kabuki brushes from the AOE studio line this is from the bamboo brush set and I believe you can purchase these individually I have done a full review these brushes are fantastic so I have the f26 which this one has a little bit of a rounded shape really great for buffing if you like to buff your powder foundation in whether it's pressed or loose and then this is the f27 this is the one i'm going to use today i like that this is just a flat uh, cut brush nice and flat on top and this just presses the product in so nicely gives me a light application and doesn't pack on too much powder definitely when you stick your brush in here i'll show you it, there's quite a bit of kick up so you definitely have to be careful with this powder it's not pressed super super firm first and foremost i like to do my concealer before i do my powder foundation that's just how i like to do it um, i'm going to be using the milani conceal and perfect concealer i just really like this concealer with this type of makeup look i don't know i do like the elf camel concealers don't get me wrong but i feel like again I have to mix a couple of shades to get my perfect shade and I just really don't feel like doing that today. So I'm using the shade Ivory Rose and I'm just going to conceal. I'm also going to prime my eyelids. We're going to blend this out and I'm going to set it with a little bit of my no filter powder from ColourPop which I think has been discontinued. Ooh, I'm not too happy about that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and apply the powder foundation. Again, I'm using the F27 little kabuki brush and I'm just going to press into the powder and I'm gonna show you there is there is quite a bit of kick up. Hopefully you can see that. Um, quite a bit does pick up on your brush. So just be careful just to press gently. Um, so I'm just starting with a small amount and I'm just going to press. If you have more combo to oily skin, definitely try the buffing technique. I know a lot of people like to do that, but because my skin is sensitive and dry, <laughs> that's just not a good thing for me personally. This just works a little bit better. You know what? I completely forgot just to do one side of my face. <laughs> this does have really good coverage. Like if you want full, full coverage, definitely use the sponge that it comes with. But I find that this starts to look very dry and cakey for me personally that's what i find it's just too much coverage i prefer a light to medium coverage when it comes to foundation so definitely the color i think matches me okay it's a shade it's it's a tad a tad light but i am pretty fair right now all right so that is what the powder foundation looks like without any setting spray nothing else i do look pretty <laughs> ghostly let me get a little close up to the camera So what I like to do is after I apply the foundation is set up with a setting spray, go in with my bronzer, blush, highlight, finish the rest of my makeup, and then set it again. And that's going to help uh, add a little hydration to your skin. It's going to also help it last a little bit longer. And it's just overall is going to make the powder foundation not look so much like powder, <laughs> if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face right now. All right, so that's pretty much it for powder foundation. That's pretty much the method and application I like to use, the different techniques. And hopefully it helps you if you have a similar skin type to myself. So I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like with everything else applied over top. All right, so I am back. I finished off my makeup and I did film this eye tutorial. It will be coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss it. Um, so I did like film some other things uh, while this was on my face. So it's been on my face for a good hour and a half. And I did also, like I mentioned, I like to set it after I application, 
finish the rest of my makeup and then use a setting spray again. And I actually used the one from Essence and I think this worked a lot better than uh, my ColourPop and the Dewy one from NYX. These are good as well, but I feel like I like this a little bit better with this particular product. My skin looks less dry and it doesn't feel tight. I'm gonna get up close to the camera so you can see what my blush and bronzer and everything else looks like on my skin. So I'm actually pretty happy with how this is looking today. I think it looks a lot better. I have a feeling I will enjoy this more than the CC cream, especially in the summer months. Spring and summer, I do you know, occasionally reach for a powder foundation. My favorite one before trying this one from e.l.f. is the Too Faced Born This Way uh, powder foundation, and this is in the shade Snow. This matches me so well. The only downside is that obviously this is a higher price point, and it also does have bismuth oxychloride. That is an ingredient in cosmetics that I try to avoid as much as possible. Now this hasn't shown any irritation to my skin, so I don't know if I'm just lucky every time I use it. It's very creamy. It does not feel dry at all. Um, and this is one of my favorites. So here we have Snow from uh, Too Faced Cosmetics, and then we have 120N uh, from e.l.f. So you can definitely see this is much lighter. Uh, Snow matches me perfectly. The e.l.f. one I definitely think is super matte. It says that it's a semi-matte finish, but this is just straight up matte. I think uh, anyone who is more on the oily side, combo skin types are going to love this. But if you are normal to dry, I would say just be cautious. Use a really good primer. Use a really good setting spray to kind of help yourself out there in that department. So comparing this to like my favorite powder foundation, doesn't quite add up to the love I have for this one from Too Faced Cosmetics, but again, I like that this one is oil-free, no bismuth oxychloride, thank you, e.l.f., no fragrance or anything like that. So I do like the more clean formula with e.l.f., and it's a drugstore price. So the things I do like about this foundation is the coverage. It gives you great coverage. I feel like it holds up pretty well throughout the day. It did wear off quite a bit around my mouth. It did settle into my fine lines around my mouth and around my nose. It came off very, very easily. Overall, I think it's pretty decent. I would say wear time is about eight hours. After that, I'm ready to take it off just because again, it does settle around the mouth a little too much for my liking. So I'm curious to revisit this in the summertime when my skin's a little less dry, but you can definitely make this work for you if you're normal to dry like I am. It's nice to see more items added to the camo family, if you will, and I'm really curious to see what e.l.f. comes out with next. I would love to see them come out with a really hydrating, very dewy foundation. <laughs> that would be amazing. e.l.f., if you're watching this, please come out with some dewy products, okay? All right, hey, how's it going, guys? Future Jess here, I'm on my phone. Sorry if it's a little shaky. So I just wanted to show you, like, this is my face, my skin, this is my face. I just took my glasses off. I've been wearing this foundation for Gosh, going on like seven hours, almost eight. I have to say, <laughs> it looks really good. It is kind of wearing off around my mouth and nose, but you can see where it's transferred, wearing my glasses. But I have to say, it wore much better today. Not as like dry and tight as it felt the other times I wore it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this, I think, really made a difference. So yeah, there you go. Uh, I hope that was a little helpful. I think it still looks great even after wearing it. You know, we're, we're getting close to eight hours here and I think it still looks really good. It's holding up pretty darn good. So that's it. I just wanted to do a little end of the night just to show you what my skin looks like. Looks pretty good. I mean, I also feel like my bronzer and blush held up better. All right, over and out. Bye. <laughs>
So that is everything, you guys. That is my review on the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation and also comparing it to some other products I love a little bit more. I hope you found this helpful and let me know your thoughts. Like, did you try this powder foundation? What do you think? Tell me in the comments and we can chat about it. I'm curious to see who's gonna like this, who's going to not like this <laughs> powder foundation. If you're new here to my channel, I actually have done a lot of reviews from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I absolutely love them. They're cruelty-free. They're really affordable. So I have a complete playlist where I've done a lot of e.l.f. reviews. I did review the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, so go check that out. I'll put a link below to that playlist if you want to see more reviews from e.l.f. <laughs> or from me using e.l.f. products. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy, like, share comment even if it's just a little emoji it really helps me out so much and subscribe if you're new i post on tuesdays and fridays every week and when i'm not here on youtube i am on tiktok and instagram and other social media platforms so go follow me if you would like to see more uh thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and i will catch you in the next video bye